Hello everyone, today we're going to discuss what you can do when your client is refusing to pick up the load you have booked. So, I just recently got an email from one of our students who was asking, okay, we booked a load for our client and he's refusing to pick it up. What can we do? The answer is fairly simple. First of all, if your client doesn't want to pick up the load, then you need to cancel this load. Okay, you need to call the broker and say, hey, I'm sorry, this driver is not able to pick up your load. They may be understanding, they may ask you why, they may yell at you or, you know, just tell you never to call them again. Whatever the reason, be apologetic because you're canceling the load, but there is nothing else you can do. So, you know, if it's got to be canceled, it's got to be canceled. However, there is one important step you need to take. You need to try to understand why your client is refusing to take this load. And you should ask them, hey, Mr. Client, Mrs. Client, why, what's wrong with this load? It's not a bad idea to even ask before you cancel because sometimes there might be uh, an objection, you know, where they're going to say, well, you know, I think I've been to this shipper and, you know, it took too long to load or something like that. And, uh, you know, it may be valid, it may be not so valid. You know, they may tell you, oh, well, you know, it's too heavy. You know, and you may want to have a further discussion. You may say, well, you know, Mr. Client, you know, I believe you mentioned that you can scale up to 45,000 pounds and this is under 45,000 pounds. What is the problem? And again, they will explain to you what the issue might be. Okay. The big thing comes to, you know, the scope of making a decision. That's something we discuss in our training. Okay, who is making the decision? Are you deciding what kind of loads should be booked or your client is deciding what kind of loads should be booked? If it is your client who is deciding, then in most cases, you may just want to run uh, load information um, by your client before you book it. If you're making those decisions, then you're making them based on certain criteria. So for example, area that your client likes to run max weight that your client is able to transport, minimum rate that your uh, client is willing to accept. If all of those factors has been matched, you may want to have a discussion with your client and say, hey, it's under your weight limit, it meets your rate requirements, and it's within the area that you prefer to run. What is the problem? Why we're not booking this load? So that's what you can do. Uh, in some cases, you know, you may go and appeal to your client. For example, if your client is in a difficult uh, area and there are no other loads available, you know, and this load may be bad, but you may want to go to your client and say, hey, we spent four hours and we got no options whatsoever, or we got options which are way worse than the one, you know, we booked. Yes, we can cancel it if you like, you're the client, you're the boss, we'll do it. But you need to understand that we may not find a better option today. And the options are either going to be worse or there are going to be no options and you will end up losing a day. We believe that it might be better if you get this not so great load and move to a better location. So again, if your client is reasonable, if your client trusts you, you know, they may say, okay, well, fine, I will do it. So uh, that's something you may want to do in certain situations. However, again, if your client says, no, I don't want to, you can't make them. Okay, you absolutely cannot. You need to go to a freight broker and say, I'm really sorry, we have to cancel. So that's the answer to that question. And with that, we are going to wrap up this video and I will see you next time.